Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of this uh, really simple, but I, I kind of reread his note, or he sent me another note about how do you duplicate it? How do you duplicate that line and make them certain distance apart? So we're going to set our nudge distance on one inch, and we're going to control D and make a duplicate and then arrow it down. And then we can control D again as many times as you want. Just keep moving them down and just hitting control D and control D. And sometimes if your laptop or your computer like mine, it'll kind of reverse and go slow. The other way to do that, and you can make it any amount, as long as you have this unchecked or anything, you, so you cannot have anything selected when you change your nudge distance, because if you do, your nudge distance goes away. But we can also do this by step and repeat. If you go to edit, step and repeat, and we want to have a one inch offset, we want 19 copies because we've got one and making it 20. Now it's going to put them on top uh, of the lines, but those lines are one inch apart. Now, if you want to do it another way, you can. that's an offset. We can have spacing between objects and then you get the direction path that we can go down. And now you have 20 copies. And if you ever wanted to check your lines, see how many copies you have right here, 20 objects selected on layer one, so you know it worked. This is pretty, it's a pretty ingenious way to do anything. You can make uh, blocks, squares, and have them one inch apart, or whatever you put it to be. I mean, we could have it 0.25 apart, and let's just do 10 copies and go down, and now those things are a quarter of an inch apart. And you can do them the other way. You can, you know, turn this off, have no offset, go to horizontal and have spaces between objects, and you get the point if you go to the right or left. So we hit that, and now you've got blocks. So that's how to move things. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.